Bye bye. So we're here at the theory test center. Levy's just gone inside. <laughs> she's done a whole bunch of practice tests. She's been passing them every time. So she'll be absolutely fine. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I passed! Hey! 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 Jamie? Look, I got 49 from 50. And then in this uh, hazard perception part, I got uh, 63 from 75. Wow, and to pass, you only needed to get 44 and 43. Oh my God, you smashed it. <laughs> Go. I think it's gonna rain today, so I have my rainproofs on. But guys, I'm so excited to jump on the bike again. I really, really can't wait. <laughs> Looks like a new Ollie. <laughs> Look at this amazing shiny new outfit that Oxford sent me. I finally have a matching jacket and trousers. Look, look, look. Plus, new boots, a new like inner thing. I've got like an Oxford base layer. This is just crazy. I'm like, I'm like 100% Oxford now. I think this is a good reason to go around the world again. Good morning world, welcome back to our channel. Today it's a really, really exciting day because I have the first day of my motorcycle training. Ooh. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared and it's a little bit crazy, but yeah, today is the day. Unfortunately, we no longer have the beloved GSX-S that Suzuki gave us because they're changing over their fleet. So we'll both be going on my dad's GSX-650. It's just a 20 minutes ride over there, but it's already 8.30, so better hit the road, let's go. See you later, Terry. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's go. Everyone is walking their dogs in the morning. That's nice. <laughs> That's what you do in a village. You walk your dog around. So the training course is four and a half days. The first two days, I will be training on a 125. On the third day, I will switch actually to a bigger bike, to a 650, because my final test will be on the 650 actually. And that means then that I have the full motorbike license here in England. And that's it, then you can ride motorcycles on the streets of England. So guys, fingers crossed, please. Every single one of you, please, fingers, keep them crossed for me. <laughs> <laughs> and the forecast for the whole week is rain. Yeah, pretty bad. So it looks like absolutely amazing weather to be doing a motorcycle training course. <laughs> when I was on the phone to the center yesterday, they said, oh yeah, it's gonna be an adventure, but you're used to that. So here we are. Here we are. How's it going, all right? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Have a very nice day, okay? Thank you. Are you going to be safe? Try to. Bye. Bye bye. Later. It's like dropping your child off for their first day at school. Today I won't be sticking around to film anything. I'll just let her have some 125 practice and hopefully film a bit of her training when she gets up to the 650. Later that same evening. <laughs> She is. Yes. How was the first day of real motorcycle training? It was really good. We had a lot of fun today. You want to see me riding around? Okay, you gotta you gotta do me a demo. <laughs> How was she today? 
Yeah. We've been out all day. Uh, Whoa. We've been in, we visited Bumblebee at Motorcycle World. No, you didn't. Uh, we're taking some country roads this afternoon. Wow. Okay, this is what you're riding at the moment. It's a really nice bike. Okay. It's really large. All right, what have you learnt? Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa, emergency stop! That was beautiful. You may as well give you the license now, hey? <laughs> See you later! Yeah, it was really nice today, actually. I'm really happy about that. I mean, I stole the bike a few times. <laughs> okay, what, like out on the roads? When I wanted to start, you know, like ah, okay. yeah, yeah. on junction. Sometimes it's still quite hard in the in first gear, you know, with the clutch control. Yeah, I see. Well, luckily stalling it isn't really the worst thing. No. I think you'll you'll get that over the next couple of days for sure. Yeah. I mean, the amount of times that I stalled Bumblebee on the trip. <laughs> oh, going over. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but it was still really nice to ride around here, around the streets of Northampton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It must be a really cool job actually to be a motorcycle instructor. Yeah, I mean if you like riding around, then I mean it's the perfect job really, isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. And Rich also said that it was pretty fulfilling as well because you know you're teaching people, you're helping them to realize their dream of motorcycling. Exactly. That's really so that's, nice. That is really nice. Yeah. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Yeah, three more days of training to go. Yeah. I have spent the last two days on the bike and my body is so painful so I have such a huge respect for Oli who was riding like nearly every day for such a long time it's just incredible and anyway for all of you bikers big respect seriously so it's day three of the training today yesterday was actually a really cool day so they stepped me up to a 350 yesterday already it was so nice and today it will be even one step further they will put me on the 650 so oh my god but the weather looks really really bad and i'm not very excited about it yeah take a look at this So this morning my mother has very kindly offered us a lift over to the test center so at least I don't have to get wet today on the bike. Thanks Phil. But hopefully if the weather's a bit better this afternoon then I can go down on the GSX 650 and ride with Lavi on her 650. Oh no! Oh no! You can do it. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye! Bye! The sun came out and the kind instructor Carl here has allowed me to join in at the back for this afternoon ride. And Lavi is here in front on her Kawasaki 650. Looking like a real rider already. And the instructors say they are really happy with her progress so far. She's been doing amazingly well, probably because she's been watching me for the past two years. So strange to think that on our next adventure, she'll be a completely independent rider all on her own. If I annoy her too much, she can actually just ride off. So maybe I have to start being a little bit more careful. But everything is looking on track for the first of two tests coming up tomorrow called the Mod 1. So let's keep everything crossed that she will pass and move one step closer to getting her full license.
Good morning, guys. So today is the day of Lavi's mod one test. Her training is split into two tests. And the test today is basically all in a, a giant car park. All of the slalom, emergency stopping, hazard avoidance. Basically the instructor just confirming that she can actually handle this bike safely before she proceeds to the mod two part of the training, which is gonna be out on the road. And that'll be in a week and a half's time, as long as she passes this test. Now Lavi doesn't know this, but I had a look on Google Maps satellite view and the place where the Mod 1 test is taking place is basically a giant car park and this car park is actually overlooked by a bridge. So I've brought with me along today a DSLR camera with 300 millimeter lens hoping that I can catch a glimpse of her actually taking the Mod 1 test. I don't actually know how far away this bridge is from the car park. I don't know when I get there it might be really far away and I might be able to see absolutely nothing but I thought it'd be worth me going down there having a look and cheering Lavi on from the sidelines or from the bridge lines. Okay, so I'm at the spot and it is raining like crazy. I'm not sure I'm really close enough to be honest. The test center car park is way over there on the other side of this massive road. Uh, I am completely soaking wet. <laughs> so the test center is over there. So that is literally the best view I can get with that camera. Man, it is wet. It is wet. Anyway, I think I'm gonna wait here for about 10 minutes or so and see if I can see her. Woo! Go Lavi! I think that's Lavi over there. Here she goes. Here she goes. Yes. Slalom. Slalom. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I can see her. That's definitely Lavi. There she is. So I think that's it. I can't see anybody else around now, so I assume the test is over. Let's see how she did. Guys, it's so pouring with rain, but I have just done my test, my first test. Unfortunately, I couldn't film anything because this is like, uh, yeah, the test area here, but man, I was nervous to the top. Oh my God, it was so, so crazy. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me what happened. I passed. Congratulations! Thank you. It was scary though, and it was raining a lot. I know. How do you know? Because I was there! <laughs> You're joking! <laughs> there was a bridge close to the test center uh -huh. where I could just about see you. Uh -huh. I was cheering you on from afar. Oh, this is the reason that I made it. <laughs> 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 How's that box going? <laughs> I can't close it. <laughs> but you have to put the key like that and then... Ta -da. Wait, try it now again? No, you have to lift, it, lift that piece up, that's mm -hmm. it. Push down here, yeah, and then in, then down, and then like that. Woo! Easy ass. Today is the day, which actually counts. I have to ride approximately 30 minutes with um, yeah with the tester so i have to make sure in this 30 minutes to not make any mistakes you'll be absolutely fine so we are just getting ready and heading over there now oh yeah okay okay ready yeah all right roll on to the test <sighs> oh 
I don't like. Really, when I finished my school, I was like, I never ever have to do any tests in my life again. And I was pretty happy with this state, you know, because I'm, I'm not very good under pressure. But you know what? Uh -huh. On the theory test, you absolutely yes. smashed it. Yes. On the mod one, the car park exercises, you absolutely smashed it. Let's see how it goes, hey? Let's see how it goes today. You know what's the most important thing? That actually I'm to really have fun. <laughs> <laughs> as well but uh, I'm really enjoying riding actually and I'm really happy about that because maybe you know I would have jumped on the bike and said like oh my god I really hate this you know yeah put me back on pillion exactly <laughs> but no no, no I love be... it actually I can't wait to jump on the bike again it's like wow yeah you're gonna be flying on your own wings pretty soon yeah it is very stressful but at the same time I'm so glad that the day has finally come fingers crossed and it's a miracle that we're in England and it's actually not raining at the moment because the week you did your training was like the worst week ever it was raining nearly the whole time yeah and you got out there in the rain for like eight hours every day yeah. good luck sweet her heart. Oh. You'll be absolutely fine. You know what? The whole round the world trip wasn't as stressful as this moment. <laughs> You'll be absolutely fine, sweetheart. Okay. It'll be over before you know it, and I'll come and pick you up over at the test center, okay? Okay. Okay. I love you. Good luck. So in case you guys are wondering what I've been doing whilst Lavi's becoming a motorcycle expert, well I've been chilling at Costa, of course. So here we are. This is the place. It's already finished. Sweetheart, are you lying to me? Hi, Bob! <laughs> I'm so, so happy. And you can do it, sweetheart. Well done. Thank you so pleasure. much, guys. No, absolute pleasure. This lady has a full bike license. And would you say that she was an expert from the start? From the very beginning, I wouldn't say that, no. <laughs> Actually, Carl saved me today. Did thank I? You, yeah, thank yeah. you so much for your no. patience and... Absolute pleasure. Everything. Riding right. really well now, right up for skills. That's so, amazing. Good. So there we go. Flew through everything, hey? The CBT, the Mod 1, the Mod 2, everything passed first time. Yeah, it is actually a miracle, <laughs> especially when we were riding this morning to the test center. Carl was looking at me after the ride saying like, okay, you would have failed. Because you cut a corner one time, and then the second time I had to do a really awkward right and left thing and I was so putting myself under pressure I was so nervous I couldn't ride at all you know like the first 40 minutes were just horrible so literally just before the test Carl said to you if that was the test you would have failed yes oh my god but he was really kind because we had to wait for the other guy to do his test and Carl said to me come on we go out now and we have a nice ride and then you just observe me what I'm doing and we will save the day you know and so we did this for like half an hour and when I got back my real test started and I was just you know I was just trying to be as relaxed and as nice and just having like fun riding and I had to get my inner peace back you know it was really nice from Carl actually that he took the time and he said come on we train now for another 30 minutes before you have your real test <laughs> just a little bit of extra training required yes and that's it <laughs> then you're good oh that's amazing thank you so much to all the guys from Carmen's you guys have been just amazing you are such a good teacher and how you treat your students is just incredible so thank you so much Carl, Andy, Rich and Colin you really do a great job and hey I pass and if I can pass everybody can pass <laughs> so now that we're both expert road riders <laughs> it's time to go on another adventure don't you think oh yes so where should we go next <laughs> I know where we should go next but well, you'll have to find out in the next episode <laughs> <laughs> so that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> the last test in my life! Three weeks later.
Look what just arrived in the mail. -hoo -hoo -hoo. Miss Lavinia shawl. Oh, oh. Wow, it's really carefully done. <laughs> yes! Fully fledged motorcycle rider. It's time to book our flight to 